Good day and welcome to Jaws Tuesday Tips for Success in Home Business and in Life. We hope you are ready for success. Welcome back. It's Tuesday and yes, it's time for Jaws Tuesday Tips. I'm excited to be able to share with you things that I've learned about being successful in home business and in life. And today what I want to share with you all is something that is actually very simple but very empowering to gauge whether or not you are really moving forward and progressing to be successful in your business or whatever your life goals or objective may be. I myself, I'm in the network marketing industry, love network marketing, think it's a great, great business that people should participate in. But regardless of whether you what you're doing, I think you're going to really love this. Now, what I find and I'll speak to it from a network marketing standpoint is that I find that people will get into a home business, network marketing home business, and they will uh, you know, sign up and maybe they don't really quite get going and, and then a week later, 30 days later, whatever goes by and they're talking about doing it. Maybe they're on the conference calls. Maybe they're talking with their, their team leaders or whatever. They're t attending different events. And then they look up and 30 days later and they say, no, nothing's really happened for them, right? And then they go another 30 days in and they get 60 days in and nothing's really happening. They start to blame the business or, or maybe they talk to their cousin or their aunt, their mom or dad or, or whatever happened. And, and and maybe they didn't make any make any progress in a week, a month, and and then you get around to that ninety day cycle, and people start thinking, oh man, this this doesn't work, uh, uh, this is no good, or or maybe they even try to put a scam on it while other people are being successful in the business, right? So, what's what's the difference? Why why are some people being successful and others are not? Uh, what if you're new? How do you how do you actually do some things and and actually in, and know that you're progressing in your business? See, success is not an overnight thing. Ask anyone who's had success. You're going to have challenges. You're going to fail forward. You're going to have fears. You're going to, you know, wonder if if things are working. Sometime you're going to have maybe great success, a lot of momentum, and then things level off, and then you have to come back up or, or figure it out, or is it still going to work out? But you have to keep going and going and going. And, and, and so what I want to point out to you is that, especially when you're getting started in a home business or, or if you haven't had the success that you have desired, check your calendar. Check your calendar and see, have you been doing things to be successful? That's right. Look, Many of you have been in the home business, and look at this. This is a calendar, right? This is actually looks the four months of a calendar. There's nothing on here, and guess what? That's how some of you look when we, if we were to gauge, what have you done for your business? You have done nothing, okay? You haven't really done anything. Uh, attending a meeting, okay. Uh, uh, talk to a few people, maybe. Maybe you got a check mark on your calendar. Uh, maybe you, uh, you know, spoke with your upline, you know, maybe you attended a training call. But at the end of the day, your calendar is full of nothingness, full of nothingness. And so if it's full of nothing, well, guess what? When you put empty in, empty comes back out. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to challenge you to do with this Josh Tuesday tip. And as we kick off the month of May. All right. I want you to get your May calendar out. All right. Get your May calendar out. And I want you to gauge whether or not you're being successful. I want you to go day by day and, and, and put in there what you are doing to be successful in your business. You may have attended the corporate meeting. You may have passed out some flyers. You may have talked to someone. But if you get through the days and the weeks and you go on and on, and the only thing you did was attend your daughter's birthday party, okay, uh, or something like that, then you have to say, it's not the business. It's me. It's me. I didn't do anything. And so I didn't do anything that could cause something to happen. Cause and effect. Cause and effect, ladies and gentlemen. So if you do the things, you go and engage in the things that maybe you're learning, maybe you're training, all of the different stuff out there, and you begin to apply it, you begin to track 
you begin to track your progress and what you're doing, I tell you, you will begin to see success or you'll see where you need to improve. You, you'll be able to talk to your coaches, your, your sponsors, your team members, whatever, and find out what they're doing, what you're applying, where you need to tweak things so that you can begin to have success. But it's so sad that some of us, we get involved in a business, we get involved in an opportunity, we, we have some goals, some dreams, some things we're trying to accomplish, and, and, we'll, and then we get 30 days later, 60 days, 90 days, even a year later, whatever it is, and, and we try to blame someone else, and there's nothing on our calendar, there's nothing we can track of significance that would show that we actually engaged in work and then did the things and learned from our errors to have that success. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you to get your calendars out. I want to encourage you to track your progress and then learn from the things you're doing, tweak them, get educated about better things you can do, and then watch as you do that month in and month out to where the progress is happening, the, the response is happening, the growth in your business is happening because you can actually gauge whether or not you are doing something to be successful. If you have a calendar full of watching TV, then nothing happens for your business. But if you have a calendar full of marketing and conversating with people in three ways and 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 and, and conference calls and attending events or whatever it is for your business, then you're going to see that you're having success. And so with that, that's Josh Tuesday tips. Get your May calendar going and get busy having success. So until the next time, we thank you for watching and viewing and be sure to comment and give us feedback on these tips for success in home business and in life. This is Ja Kefele saying make sure you have a successful day.